Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing one today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarrell, and in today's video, we are going to be playing and trying the new palette from Hourglass. This one is called the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlock, and I decided to get mine, of course, in the leopard one just because it is such a beautiful animal. I know the other packagings and the other animals that it was for this collection 2023, I know they are absolutely beautiful as well, but this one just, you know, speaks to me in a different way but anyways let's go ahead and get into trying talking about the palette and all of that good stuff but before we do please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also like this video because that definitely helps out my channel so much and you can also click on the little bell that will notify you whenever I upload a new video which is every single week and without further ado let's get started Here we have the outer packaging of the palette. I went ahead and purchased mine directly from the Hourglass website. Here is the color story that I decided to pick, which is the third color story. The second color story is really nice and beautiful and definitely geared towards a medium skin tone, but I felt like there weren't a lot of new shades and also I felt like it was really repetitive to the collection that I already have. So when I saw the third color story, which is this one right here, and the fact that they had a newer shades of course I went ahead and purchased this one the first color story it's a little bit more geared towards a lighter skin tone so I didn't really want to purchase that one knowing that it might not work out for me so I'm really happy that hourglass actually gives you the option to pick the animal that you want and also the color story that you want that is really really good and you don't have to pay anything extra you know it's still the same price as if you were just buying the already made palette this palette retails for nine dollars is made in italy and it does have a shelf life of 12 months so last year i picked up these two palettes right here elephant and tiger i love the packaging i absolutely love the packaging from last year as well elephant has been a palette that i have been reaching for you know definitely pretty normal but this one has been the one that i have been reaching for the most and it is this color story right here which it reminded me a lot of the color story that I just showed you for the leopard one. So let's go ahead and just see it side by side. So here is a side by side and you can see that the leopard one has a little bit more rosiness, more pinkiness to it. Comparing it to this one, it's a little bit more on the bronzy side, but they do look very similar to one another. All right, guys. So now that we have a little bit of foundation, concealer and powder, let's go ahead and move on to this palette. I'm going to start with this shade right here, which is for all over the skin. And you really do have to experience experience hourglass powders to understand how beautiful they are it just gives you such a natural radiance to your skin and because I did add a little bit of a super super light concealer um, my skin looks a little bit pale so this powder is going to be perfect to bring it back to where it needs to be I'm going to start buffing it into the skin especially in the outer part and connecting it to my neck so as I am dipping into this one, just be careful because I am picking up some of the blush as well. And I had just added a little bit of blush right here on top of my eyebrow. So just be careful with that. All right, guys. So now I'm going to add this bronzer right here. And I can definitely see that it's pulling a little bit more red on my skin. And it's a lot of warmth for sure. And it's reminding me on the shade from last year from the Tiger palette. So this one is from the Leopard. Let me just put it up here for you guys so you guys can see it and i'm going to put the tiger one which is this one right here right next to it the tiger one is actually not considered a bronzer is actually considered a setting powder and this one again is considered a bronzer as we have it here name on the back of the palette is called bronzer solar bronze they do look very very similar on the hand but this one right here actually does have a little bit more pigmentation and it's a little bit deeper which is from the tiger palette from last year so let me just continue on bronzing my face so even though they are different there are call different i am going to say that when you apply it to the skin you're not going to see a huge difference from one to the other all right guys as i was swatching the bronzer i said might as well just swatch the whole entire palette just comparing it side by side here we have the new palette which is the leopard palette and you can see how these two shades are really 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 similar to one another to be in the same palette but 
you know, sometimes Hourglass does that. Well, no, not sometimes, a lot. <laughs> and then here we have the tiger sign. Um, this one is definitely a little bit more lighter and a little bit softer and a little bit more on the cooler side on the tiger palette. Here we do have the orangey shade and also the copper shade from the tiger side comparing it to the one that we are getting from this year. It's really, really close, not 100% of a dupe, but very, very close. Here we have one of the blushing shades or highlighting shades that's a little bit more subtle comparing it to a strobe highlighter and here we have the setting powder again very similar different in texture but very very similar and here we have the highlighters so again here we have the swatches and even though they are different in texture when it comes to the color story it's pretty similar so i'm going to take this blush right here and apply it to this cheek here is how this blush looks on the cheek and now i'm going to take the one that is right on the top with the other side of the brush, I'm going to add it to the other cheek. So I was thinking that they were going to be pretty much the same shade, but they're not, okay? They are not super far away from one another either, but this one does have a little bit more pinkiness, which is this one right here right on top. It does have a little bit more rosiness and more pinkiness to it. It's a little bit more deep as well, so a little bit does go a long way. Definitely leaning a little bit more on the pinky side. Comparing it to this one, which is the one that I used from the bottom one, it is a little bit softer when it comes to the pigmentation. This one gives you pigmentation right away this one you can definitely build it up it's a little bit more softer and again it's a little bit more on the corally side comparing it to the pinky side so there's a little bit of pinkiness in there but not as much as on this cheek right here all right guys so let's go ahead and move on now to the highlighter i'm going to just add a little bit on the highest points of my cheeks and this highlighter i mean it is intense as you can see and i'm using this brush because all of my other brushes are super dirty okay i'm just trying to be honest with you guys <laughs> So I absolutely love how the skin is looking. It's so beautiful, glowy, and bronziness, and just like so, mm, so good. But it does remind me a lot of the Tiger palette. I do gotta say, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, it is super, super close to the Tiger palette. Even on the skin, it just reminds me so much of it. So if you already have the Tiger palette in your collection, you can totally skip on this palette for sure. But if you are a collector of Hourglass, you look forward to their new releases every single single year this one is definitely not going to disappoint you it says that they are new shades and i believe it because you know why would our glass lie to us but they're really close i mean super close you guys saw the swatches so i don't even have to convince you but anyways i am going to use this shade right here just to add it to the lid just so you guys can see the pigmentation for this shade it does have like a really nice shimmer to it super beautiful just going to blend it out. I'm going to use a little bit of this bronzer in the other corner. So I think that this shade is definitely a shade that I'm going to add uh, to my cheeks next time I use this palette because how beautiful with a bronzer and this shade and your pumpkin spice latte for fall makeup is going to be looking super nice here is the shade again i mean you can see how beautiful it is and just to tie everything together with the pink blushes that we have i am going to take a little bit of this right here just pop it right in the center all right now taking the highlighter and just adding it to the inner corner just bringing it up Using a brown liner, just creating a super tiny baby wing. I am going to curl my lashes and add mascara and show you the final look. So here is the final look. And I do gotta say that this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlock Palette, it's an amazing, amazing palette. The quality, the packaging, the way that it just blends to the skin, how versatile it is for you to just use it all over your skin. I have even used the blushes before in the past 
on the lips just to make it a really nice and cohesive and you can definitely do that and just top it off with a clear lip gloss or something that is a little bit closer to your skin tone and that definitely works and just again makes the whole entire look like very monochromatic and I absolutely love the versatility of this palette it's definitely going to be one of my go-to's for every single day just like the tiger one has been for the past a year but i do gotta say and i am being super honest with you guys if you already have the tiger palette you can pretty much recreate the same exact look I am pretty sure that this look right here looks really similar to the one that I have created in either a shorts and a TikTok using this palette right here. And you know, the quality is definitely the same. The shades are super, super, super close to one another. The only difference in my opinion is that this one does have a little bit more rosiness comparing it to like bronziness and orangey to the Tiger palette, but it is at the end of the day, very, very, very close so it's really up to you what you decide to do if you already are super happy and you can definitely see a similarity for your tiger palette then you can definitely skip it but if you are a collector of hourglass and you absolutely love your hourglass palettes and it's just really something that makes you happy then yeah this one is definitely not going to disappoint you whatsoever the quality is still very much there it's just a really nice beautiful palette but yeah that is it my friends that is it for this video i hope that it was helpful to you and I was able to provide you with enough information to give you an idea whether you're going to get this palette or skip it all together let me know in the comment section down below which palette did you pick which animal did you pick which color story did you pick what are you thinking about this new release from hourglass let me know in the comment section down below I love talking to you guys but yeah that is it thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your love your time and support please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you next time.